Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I'm going to show you everything about the new card visual that Power BI has released in the June 2023 update. So I'm going to compare between the existing card visual and the new card visual and see what is the difference, what are the problems that new card visual has solved. So let's start the video. Here we have financial table. Let's add the two different card visuals. So let's right click on the canvas and here I'll add the visual and choose this, the existing card visual. Uh, let's uh, click on the canvas again and add visual here if I click on the drop down you can see at the bottom we have the new card visuals so uh, let's click on that and uh, let's add a measure to both the card visuals so I will go to here field section and add let's say profit same thing I will add here uh, in data I will add the profit measure so if I have a first look at the two card visuals uh, so on the left we have the ex existing card visual on, and on the right we have the new card visuals that was released at the first glance what we see is so in the existing card visual uh, the value is uh, centrally aligned and the category label is on the bottom of the value whereas in the new card visual the category as well as the value is left aligned and having a border enabled by default so first of all let's reduce the font size of the values let's make it 20 let's go to call out and here i will choose 20 so let's talk in terms of problem that has been solved in the new card visual so the first problem that has been solved in the new card visual is if you see in the old card visual the value was centrally aligned and if you had to align it to the left or right we were not able to do that so let's uh, let's go to call out value and here you cannot see any alignment options so this problem is solved in our new card visual so if i go to new card visual uh, in the call out section you can see uh, this horizontal alignment if i want to say make it centrally aligned you can make that if i want to right align this we can make that or if i want to left align this we can make that as well now let's look at the second problem that was solved by the new card visual so the second problem which was solved is also very good so the second problem is so whenever we were not having data for any selection so the card visual used to show the blank text which does not look nice and uh, to solve that we used to create a new measure where uh, adding if condition like if the measure is blank then show zero or na else show the measure this same thing is solved in our new card visual so if i go to card visual here we can see show blank as section here you can see the two under underscores so whenever uh, we don't have data for some uh, selection it will not show blank it will show two underscores here we can replace these two blanks with uh, our desired value so we can add it as zero or we can make it an a as per our choice so this was much needed change which is done by the power bi if you go to the third problem that was solved is you can see this uh, category label which is which always appears at the bottom in the existing card visual uh, and we cannot change the uh, and we cannot we cannot make it to the top in the new card visual you can see the category label is at the top and we also have an option to make it at the bottom so for that let's go to label and here we can see the position section here we, we can choose above value or below value if i choose below value the category label will appear the, at the bottom of the value whereas if i choose above value the category label will be seen in the at the top of the value and also uh, we can increase or decrease the spaces between the category label and the value uh, from this spacing section as per our need the fourth problem that was solved is we can align vertical align this card visuals vertically we can align this uh, to the top or to the center or to the down bottom which was not possible in the existing card visual it was always aligned centrally now the next feature is my favorite let me show you that so suppose we want to add multiple card visuals 
we want let's say we want to add uh, four kpis so what we used to do is we uh, copy pasted this visual four times and we align this here and uh, in the field section let's say we want to add the sales price and uh, here i will add let's say manufacturing price and here let's say we are going to add discounts so we added four kpis for this for four card visuals for this now in the new card visual we don't have to add four different card visuals we can achieve the same thing in one card visual let me show you how if i go to the new card visual and if i go to the layout section in the layout section you can see the orientation in orientation we have grid vertical and horizontal so if i choose grid you can see rows and column section is enabled so in columns i will choose four because we are showing four measures here so let's add other four measures let's add sales price let's add manufacturing price let's add discounts so here we are showing four kpis so let's make it wide and uh, let's decrease the height so you can see how easily we have created the four kpis and uh, it is it is already formatted we don't have to format this again we don't have to do anything here not only this we can also add rows so if i go to the layout and here you can see the rows is one so if i want to add another row we can add rows here as well so suppose i will add another kpi so let's add gross sales so you can see gross sale kpi will be added at the bottom of the first kpi so you can add multiple rows and multiple columns which is a great feature in one single card visual this is really great so that was it for this video i hope you liked the video and if you like my video do not forget to subscribe my channel and uh, as usual thanks for watching